Stop wasting your time. In the pursuit of wisdom, the Stoics offer timeless lessons on not squandering the most precious commodity, time. Seneca, the Stoic philosopher, once said, it's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste much of it. How true that is. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what's within our control. Time wasted on things beyond our influence is time lost forever. Epictetus, another Stoic sage, emphasized the importance of distinguishing between what's in our power and what isn't. Time spent worrying about the latter is time wasted. The Stoics remind us to embrace challenges as opportunities for growth. Rather than viewing obstacles as time wasters, see them as chances to refine our character. Marcus Aurelius, the great Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, taught us to live in harmony with the natural order of the universe. Time spent appreciating life's wonders is never wasted. In the quest for peace, the wisdom of letting go becomes apparent. The first step is to stop emotionally clinging to things. As the Buddhist teachings remind us, attachment leads to suffering. It's time to release the emotional grip on these artifacts of the past. The Stoics too advocated for emotional resilience. Seneca said, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. Minimalism teaches us that letting go of excess possessions frees us from unnecessary emotional baggage. It's time to declutter, both physically and emotionally. Mindfulness practices help us detach from the constant stream of thoughts and emotions. By observing without clinging, we find inner peace. By detaching from possessions and embracing the impermanence of life, we create space for growth and serenity. As Lao Tzu wisely said, when I let go of what I am, I become what I might be. Stop procrastinating. Procrastination, the thief of time, shackles us to the past and robs us of the future. It's time to break free from its grasp. The Stoics remind us that time is our most precious resource. Marcus Aurelius said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. By embracing discipline and structure, we reclaim control over our time and destiny. Seneca wrote, we are always complaining that our days are few and acting as though there would be no end of them. Technology can be a double-edged sword. While it offers convenience, it also tempts us with endless distractions. It's time to reclaim our focus, surrounding ourselves with supportive individuals who share our aspirations can provide the motivation and encouragement needed to overcome procrastination. Procrastination thrives in the absence of action. By taking the first step, we pave the way for progress and achievement. Stop settling for mediocrity. In the pursuit of greatness, we often find ourselves at a crossroads, faced with the choice to settle for mediocrity or rise above it. Stoicism teaches us the art of living with purpose, reminding us that time is our most valuable asset. Will we waste it on mediocrity or use it to craft a life of significance? Stoic lessons emphasize self-discipline, resilience, and the pursuit of virtue. To settle for mediocrity is to deny the potential within us, to silence the voice urging us to strive for excellence. Epictetus reminds us that a life lived in fear of failure is a life half-lived. Embrace challenges for they are the crucible that refines our character. Aristotle once said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. Choose the path of excellence, make it a habit and watch your life transform. Do not let anxiety dominate you. 
in the depths of our minds, anxiety can cast shadows that seem insurmountable. But within us lies the power to conquer these fears and emerge stronger. Epictetus once said, We cannot choose our external circumstances, but we can always choose how we respond to them. His wisdom serves as a reminder that while we may not control the external world, we hold the reins to our internal responses. Mindfulness is a powerful tool against anxiety. By grounding ourselves in the present moment, we can diminish the overwhelming shadows that anxiety casts on our minds. Nature has a way of calming our restless minds. Embrace the beauty around you, for in the simplicity of nature, you may find the strength to overcome the complexities within. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. What bad habits are you struggling with? Share them so we can all learn and become the best version of ourselves.